Well, good morning. I am here at Potter's Falls in Morgan County, Tennessee with uh, my good buddy Ron Durant. Let me pull this around here. So there's Ron getting ready. We're fixing to go down to uh, the falls over here. We'll see if we can get uh, some decent pictures. The last time I came out with Ron, he got some great pictures and all of mine sucks. So hopefully today it's a different story. Um, but this looks to be an amazing place and I'm looking forward to getting started. Let's go and check it out. All right, so we're down sort of in the uh, lower part next to the edge of the falls. Turn around here. So I've been taking some pictures along here, sort of looking back this direction and then a couple of wider angles to capture these uh, trees over here to the side. Uh, there is a road up here at the top and I, I'm pretty sure that's in my shot, but we'll live with that. Um, Ron is over here working on some more delicate photos, I would say. And I need to get uh, somewhere where I can get into these rocks. So I think we're gonna wind up walking over here somewhere after this and looking at it from a different angle um, and we'll see what goes on this rock right here is sort of my anchor point for everything i'm doing and uh, yeah a little more later We move down to the bottom of the falls. Let me turn this around so you can see it. So I am sort of hiding here behind these trees right here. I've got some shots through the trees. Right now I have, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not on this camera, but I have a little bit of this tree in the shot. Uh, and so I'm doing four focus points. I'm focusing, I'm focusing down here. I've also focused up here, and I have three focus points, I guess. I focused on the rocks here, all shooting at F11. It comes out to be about one and a third seconds, which is really, really nice. Uh, I'll throw this shot up on the screen. It's really, really nice to do uh, waterfalls somewhere between one and two seconds. Now, if I want to get this water down here really, really still, then I would have to get a, uh, an ND filter out and do that. Um, and I may try that here in a second. But that could take, uh, you know, two or three minutes to get that done. But today, I'm in no hurry. So I'm going to do whatever the heck I need to do <laughs> to get the shots I want. I've got a circular polarizer on this particular lens, and I'm going to get that set up. Then I'll see what I want to do about the bottom of the water down there. Okay, so we were up at the Upper Falls a while ago, and then it's just a very short walk down here to the um, to the Lower Falls. And we're not to the bottom of it yet. We stopped here along the side to get this shot. So I am set up over this crevice, looking down, and I'm shooting about an eighth of a second or so, um, and several shots in case I need to um, stack the images to get a little more a little more milkiness to the water, but I'm also doing, uh, again, three focus spots uh, so that I can blend that later if I need to. So in addition to getting some wide shots from here, I've also taken the 
70 to 200 and focused in really close at the top of the falls. Get a couple of shots there as well. You know, that lens doesn't come in handy for a lot, but I really like it when it does. So we've come down to turn this around real quick we were right up here shooting down at the waterfalls we just come down just below that and there are some nice dry spots here to walk on uh, so I'm not gonna slip and fall that's my mom um, and then uh, I'm assuming we'll wind up down here looking up at it as well at some point but we're just working our way down each level of the falls and it is absolutely gorgeous out here today. Okay, so the platter ball was built upside down, okay? But if I want to, it's got a quick release plate, so if I want to take the camera off, I just, I just, it's got this little uh, lip here, and if I am, hang on, there we go. So it won't come off on its own. I have to push this in like to make it come off. Lamp. Yeah. So then I've also got a little, uh, a little uh, lever here that if I turn it toward unlock, I can swivel the camera. So I'm gonna take a pano shot here. I'm gonna start here with these rocks and I'm gonna lock it every time. But then the, the real thing comes over here in the back if you can get around where you can see this because to loosen this up, I've, I've pumped the bottom one just a little bit and then I can move this around anywhere I want and it will also point straight down. So once I get it, I'm going to line it back up here with this waterfall. Once I get it where I want it, then I just pump the top one until it tightens up and it's not going to move. So, so the it, bottom one loosens it and the top one tightens it. The top one tightens it, it. yeah. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm in focus on these rocks here. I got it on manual focus. I'm shooting about one and a third second. And then I can tell down here, I've got a little, little, uh, places to mark what angle I'm at and you usually want to do a 15 degree angle yep. so I just move it over about 15 degrees to take another one my pano shots have come out much better since I've known how far to swing around yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's important to know that so I'm taking I'm probably taking more shots than I need but I'm going to come yeah. all the way around here to this rock get it all it probably yeah. won't pan out flat now are you using a polarizer right now uh, i am are you yeah okay. so what are your settings on that camera it's, uh... so i'm at f11 uh my iso is at 160 kind of lighten up this rock a little yeah. bit here yeah um and then uh it's just uh i've got it on manual focus so it doesn't change focus all the way around so you're one eighth of a second Ballhead. Yeah. Never seen one before. And then if I tighten this back up toward the lock side, this won't move anymore. That's it. It's, it's, it's steady. Back to normal mode. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Thank you, Tim. So we are at the Ozone Falls State Natural Area. We decided not to go down to 
the lower part of the other falls, we thought, since I was just up here for the day, that we would try another couple of places. And the first one we went to didn't have any water at it at all. So, And then it started pouring down rain. And so now the rain is about gone. And we're going to try Ozone Falls. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. So I've never been here before, but I'm looking forward to it. Well, we're uh, about halfway down the trail probably. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you see where we're at. This is Ozone Falls. Here's my trail guide, Ron. He's keeping me safe. Loan me his, uh, his walking stick so I don't fall down and break my neck, which I was very appreciative of. Let me see if I can turn this back around again. So we're about halfway. Got a little ways to go. Well, we've made it to the falls, and I've, I'm turning one way to get sun in my face and trying to also turn just a little bit to get the falls out of my microphone, but let me turn the camera around so you can see where we're at. So there is an opening here in the trees to get up to the top from here, and a lot of roots and rocks and things to make an interesting foreground. There's also a lot of spray coming off the falls. Uh, and some rain falling off the trees, so it's going to be a wet shoot, however we choose to look at it. But we're here, and uh, we're going to make this work. Yeah. Alright, so we have been here at the bottom of the falls, kind of working our way around a little bit. I haven't taken a lot of pictures here, but there are a couple of nice compositions I think I've had. Uh, let me turn this camera back around again. So I am here at the bottom of the falls. Where's my finger? I'm right here getting all this rock and root in the picture. Uh, and then also, uh, because I'm doing vertical, I have all the way up to the top of the falls. But it is raining more. Uh, my camera's getting wet. I'm getting wet. I might have to pull up the umbrella here in a minute. Um, I've got to wear my hat. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is a really, really beautiful place, and I, I look forward to coming back when I've got time to just kind of wander around, um, because there's, there's so many options here. Um, it's, it's just beautiful. Ron's done a good job of leading me around today. Okay, we are back at the top. I am absolutely worn out. My body is not used to this, uh, but I made it. Uh, Ron did a good job of leading me through a couple of waterfalls. I know where I want to come back to later when it's uh, fall and the leaves are changing color and maybe it's not raining. Hope you enjoyed this trip to uh, Potter's Falls and Ozone Falls, and we'll see you next time.